Hey guys, it's Roy, and today I'll be talking about tangents. Now, a tangent line, or a tangent, is defined in geometry as a line that touches a curve at exactly one point without crossing it. Now, um, tangents are often thought of in relation to circles, and as you can see here, this tangent touches at exactly one point, because to either side, the circle is curving away. In a circle, uh, tangents can also be thought of as a line that is perpendicular to the radius. Now, tangents, as applied to curves, are very similar. Say I had this curve right here. Now, if I were to draw the tangent line of, say, this point right here, I would get a line that's horizontal. And if I were to draw one right here, I would get a line that's diagonal and upward. Now, the tangent line um, is very helpful in that it gives us the instantaneous rate of change, and this can be abbreviated IROC. Now, the, the rate of change of any, uh, of any function is the change in y over the change in x. Now, say we wanted to uh, find the instantaneous rate of change, or I should say approximate it, by using the graph and using the algebra that we know. So, say I chose the second point right here and wanted to find the rate of change between these two points. I'd get a, a downward slope that looks like this, and this is nowhere near the tangent, the slope of the tangent line. So then I'm going to try a point that's a little bit closer, and you know what? I get a line that's a little bit better. It's a little bit more like the red line. And as I get closer and closer and closer, and I start moving this point closer to the red point, I get a line that's more and more, um, that's more and more like the tangent line. Therefore, we can say that the instantaneous rate of change is the limit as the change in x approaches zero of the change in y over the change in x. And this is because, of course, our points are getting closer and closer and closer together. Now, don't worry if you don't understand limits or calculus, because APB physics and SAT2 physics don't really test you on that. But let's look at um, some of the applications of knowing the rate of change. Now say this is a graph of my daily mood swings, because sometimes I feel good and sometimes I just don't. Now say that at time 3 o'clock, um, I'm in the middle of my physics test and I suddenly realize that this physics test is insanely hard, why didn't I study in club academia, I'm going to fail it, and my mood is going way down as you can see. And I want to figure out how fast my mood is changing so that I can prepare for it. And it turns out my mood is changing at negative three units of happiness per hour. So as you can see here, we can find the instantaneous rate of change of any function. Um, and this will later be applied to things like instantaneous velocity. 